crafty friends welcome to today's video it is a black day in rainbow week slash fortnight and this morning i made this card and i used black cardstock to make it so i thought i would show you how i made it but with some adjustments thrown in and the first main adjustment is not using black cardstock but using ink to ink up some cardstock for a bit of texture, I think. So I've got black soot distress oxide here, which is a bit more of a gray than a black, but that's okay. I'm going to add some water to make it into a paint and then use my smusher to pick it up and smush it on the corner of this bit of smooth white cardstock. I don't want to leave big white gaps on this because when I die cut from it, it might look a bit weird. So I'm going to leave some small white bits poking through, but I want to get a bit of a layered effect. So I'm going to dry this and then put another layer on top. So just adding another layer and this will darken it up a bit. But hopefully once I die cut from it, it won't look too uniform. It will have a bit of variation and texture. So the dye that I'm going to use is this corner floral leaf bouquet type dye and I think I picked this up at a charity shop but it is a Sizzix dye. And there we have our die cuts. I've got the whole bouquet and then some bits from the sides here that I'm going to use to add a bit of extra and just to compare that is very solid and stark and dark and this one's a little bit lighter. With this one I backed the flower with vellum so you can see through it but I think I'm going to, well I'm going to have a go and see what it looks like. I've got Lost Shadow which is a grey and I'm going to blend that on here and this die comes with a, a backing die for the flower so I'm going to use that to die cut and I can add this behind there it goes like that I'll pop a bit of glue on the back of here I'm just spreading some tacky glue on my glass mat and I can press the flower bit down to pick up the glue and then I can stick that on there. The next thing I want is this uh, die cut net thing that I put behind the flower. The thing I like about using the vellum is you can see through it and that just shows you that little net which gives a little bit of texture that I like. But I'm going to cut this net out of some more Lost Shadow inked card. So there we have the net and it, it is grey and I think that stands off nicely there. I really like that. I think I'm going to stick with the grey one. This card I did portrait. I'm thinking this card I might do a landscape. I just noticed I've got my few fingerprints on that side. So I think I will pop that on there and then that on top. Now with this one I didn't add any dimension underneath it. Uh, partly because it's quite fiddly I didn't want to stack the die cuts I think it would have uh, taken a long time and maybe been a bit messy and because I use vellum here I can't put any foam under the vellum but I'm thinking now that I've put a solid back to this flower I can pop some foam behind it and then maybe just do a couple of little bits of foam elsewhere so we'll do that we're going to go landscape and we're going to add foam pop this on here and I'm going to take it right to the edge so we've got some foam on there and I want to bring it right to the edge and have some of the leaves overhanging on this one I didn't do that and I think it looks a bit floaty but I want the leaves overhanging and I'm gonna snip them and 
now it looks a bit more cohesive, not just plonked on, it's part of the design. Now with these ones, I think I'm going to put these flat because I want to put my sentiment up there. that looks good I'm going to pop that on my card blank now so this is approximately four by six inches and I've cut the panel so there's just a little border all the way around and I don't often use glue to attach my panels because sometimes the glue can warp the uh, card underneath but I'm going to do it today just apply a little bit basically because I put foam tape on the front and I'm concerned that if I put press down with some tape runner it will um, squish my flower. Of course the advantage to using glue is that you can slide it around a bit. I'm going to press it down with a bit of deli paper where I can. For my sentiment I've got a stamp that says just wanted to say which means this card can be used for any situation really and I'm just inking it up with black ink might do that again that's a little bit uneven I'm gonna die cut it with this stitched banner die I want just this end I'll cut that off in a minute and to make sure I get a nice perpendicular cut at that end I'll just use my guillotine and add a bit of foam to the back so it's lifted to the same amount as the flower and pop that on about there. So with this one I added some black Nouveau drops and I think that works really well with the dark black paper die cuts but I'm thinking that might be a little bit much for this one which is more of a grey so I think I'll add some white just for a little bit of something a finishing touch and there we go two cards created using the same tools but instead of using black paper I made my own using black sook sook black soot distress oxide and a bit of lost shadow distress oxide i do like the dramatic nature of this one but i think i prefer the more textured look of the die cut i think it's more interesting visually and i do like this being ever such a, a subtle gray and i think i prefer the landscape version rather than the portrait I think I might feel different if I'd shuffled this die cut down a bit so that we cut off the edge like we did here. I think it would look a bit more balanced that way. But let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a black cardstock card or a smushed cardstock card? We're nearing the end of Rainbow Week slash Fortnite. I am wondering about doing maybe an all white card or a mostly white card with a small pop of colour or a metallics card next maybe gold or silver I have a think and then I shall have a play right thanks for watching take care and I'll see you very soon bye for now <laughs>